Today we're making potato soup. We have two different varieties of potato soup for you to choose from. One will be made with tomato soup, so it'll be a tomato soup potato soup, which my family calls tomato potato, or a cheesy version of a potato soup. So we have two different recipes for you. If you're doing the tomato potato soup or the cheesy potato soup, the first step is to peel your potatoes and then to cut them up into cubes that are roughly the same size. So that was the hard part. The rest of it's really easy. You're going to put the potatoes in a pot. Uh, it probably should be a, a fairly tall pot because these things tend to boil over a little bit. And then you're going to put in the rest of the ingredients that you have on the screen. If you're making the cheesy potatoes, put everything except the cheese, and then we'll put the cheese in a little bit later. So you've got everything in your pot. Stir it all together. Make sure you have enough water in there to, to cover your potatoes so nothing is sticking up out of your little mix and get it to boil. Once you get it boiling, then you need to turn the temperature down and just let it simmer gently, uh, probably 20 to 25 minutes. Then you need to just test to see if the potatoes are actually done. This is easy to do. Just take a, a fork or a spoon and try to cut through the potato with the edge of it. If it cuts through pretty easily, you'll know the potatoes are done. If you're doing the tomato potato version, you can add some extra ingredients to it. You can chop up hot dogs and throw those in. You could make some bacon and crumble that up and throw that in. Anything that you want to add that's a little protein that you think would taste good with tomatoes and potatoes, just throw it in there in the last 10 minutes or so of the cooking. If you're doing the cheesy soup, then after you've got the soup going, you need to, to add milk and flour in the combination that we've given you. Stir those two things together and then pour it into the soup really slowly and just keep stirring it in until the soup is a nice consistency. And then you just need to let it stay there long enough to get warm and then you're ready to eat. While our tomato potato soup or your potato cheese soup, whichever you're making, is cooking, you can make a fruit salad to accompany your soup. So you can take any kind of fruit you like, uh, things like apples, and if you get multiple colors, like if you can have some yellow or green and some red, then it gives you a nice contrast in the bowl. Bananas, grapes, cherries, pineapple, raisins, sunflower seeds, nuts. Anything you like that you think will go well with your fruit can go into this. I usually leave the peel on the apples. So you'll need to core your apples, take out the centers, and then cut those into bite-sized pieces. Slice your banana into little lovely round slices. Grapes, you can just throw in like they are, or you can cut them in half if you like. The same thing goes with cherries, especially if you're using maraschinos. You might want to cut them in half. They make a nice, colorful addition to the fruit salad. If you're using nuts, you might want to chop those into smaller pieces than they came out of the, the bag. So once you've got all those ingredients together, just throw them all in a bowl. If you want to be kind of easy, lazy about it, you can just add... Um, Miracle Whip, which is my favorite, or mayonnaise to it for your to dress it, to sort of bind it all together. You just don't need very much, just a spoonful or so, and stir it in. But we're going to actually make our own dressing. Dressing is another one of those things you can experiment with. Basically, you need a little oil. So you could use olive oil or corn oil or vegetable oil, whichever kind of oil you like. And then you need some seasonings. So as odd as this is going to sound, a little pepper actually helps. It takes some of the uh, sweetness out of what you're making. We need a little mayonnaise to mix with our oil. You could put in a little shot of honey, which gives you some, some sweetness. Stir it all up. You get a, a, it's not going to be really watery. It should be kind of, kind of thick, so, but not too thick to actually spread. Taste it before you put it in your fruit, because if you don't get the consistency right, you can't adjust that once it's in the bowl. So just keep tasting. Add a little lemon juice. Add uh, more pepper. Just keep sort of tweaking it until it's a flavor that you like. Then once you've got a dressing you're happy with, put it into your fruit. Be sure you didn't make too much. You don't want to have a really soggy, slimy kind of fruit salad with too much dressing. Go easy on the dressing, and you will be really happy with that. Of course, if you don't like dressings at all, you can just eat that fruit straight out of the bowl the way it is without having to add anything to it. So now your potato soup is done. You've got a nice fruit salad. Grab a loaf of bread, some nice French bread, Italian bread, and you have a hearty and actually pretty good for you dinner because you've got your fruits, 
you've got some tomatoes full of lots of lovely uh, things for your body and makes you feel good that you made it all yourself.